I recently created a new tier to get access to beta plugins. I apologize because one person joined and I didn't have anything ready yet. So for this section, I have improved my cutoff plugin. Here I have the options to adjust the CDF box. And in the main node, I have some more options like border size, color, mesh color, and border emission. There is also an option to add simplex noise. And you can use the back faces option to color the inner faces, which gives the illusion that the mesh has a volume inside. You can change that color. And as I said, it gives the impression that the figure is solid. Now, let's look at this example where I'm using simplex noise first. And with the CDF shape, you can create a dissolve effect. You can change the scale and the strength of the noise. And I really like the high frequency simplex noise. The Fresnel option gives a transparency effect to the faces of the mesh crossed by the CDF shape. You can change the color and values of the Fresnel effect as the power and the mission. Now, this example cube demonstrates that CDF shapes can be combined. And here, I am using several CDF box nodes for cutting. There are six CDF shapes to choose from. And I can combine them all. For example, I am using this sphere. With the main node, I can change the final effect of the combination of all the CDF shapes. Now, this is a much more complex mesh, and in this case I am using the infinite cylinder node. This means that this cylinder has no length because it's infinite, and it goes all the way through the figure that is applied to. It only has the radius, and that allows me to see through the shape. I can change the rotation of the CDF, the color of the Fresnel effect, and I can see through wherever I want. 